Welcome to my second part series on iPod repair. This particular video is about your iPod constantly shifting from battery status symbol to Apple logo, back to the symbol, back to logo. Now this is a problem and that many people have and really has not been addressed. Now this video is to show you how to get out of this shifting problem going back and forth and how to do this is you have to reset the iPod. I did explain this in my prior video on how to fix an iPod that's in a sad face uh, icon and you basically have to do the same thing if it's going from this shifting option. Now what you do is you t you take your iPod now this is about the classic uh, type of iPod which is usually the click wheel anything from the first to fourth and fifth generations It's generally about 4.1 inches tall by 2.4 inches wide uh, and basically what you have to do is you have to take your finger and put it on the select button as I'm pointing to here simultaneously you have to hold down the menu button after about seven seconds it should power off. At the same time without letting go of the select button but letting go of the menu button hold down the play button. Now after about six or seven seconds you'll notice that the iPod will go on of course you'll see the logo again the Apple logo and then it's going to go into disk mode. Now this video is not necessarily how to get into disk mode it's, it talks about a problem in which it does not stay into disk mode. Now, as you can see here, this is disk mode. This is what's going to appear after you do the resetting, which I just showed you. You're going to see a check button, a check logo in the center. You're going to see it say OK to disconnect, and you're also going to see a battery status symbol on the upper right-hand corner. This is going to be moving. It's going to be moving up and down, up and down like it's charging. Now, the trick is to get it to stay in this mode. The problem is is that it doesn't stay in disk mode it goes out of disk mode and then right away it goes back into this now I'm gonna teach you how to get it to stay in the disk mode now this is what you do this usually the problem is when it doesn't stay into disk mode the battery logo will go up and down up and down for about three seconds then it'll go off into this now to get it to stay in the disk mode while it's in here for the few seconds that it is take it take the iPod in your hands and just hold it from this area where I'm pointing to here with your thumb and your index finger and just with a flick of the wrist not too hard with your flick of the wrist just bang the iPod on a blunt object like the edge of a window sill or a window pane or a piece of wood the edge of a piece of wood and bang the top part this area the back of it the other side uh, about three or four times. Now when you do this it should stay into disk mode. If it stays into disk mode after seven or ten seconds make sure to put the hold button on as it's in disk mode which is right over here. It should show orange. This is on the top uh, left hand part of the iPod and what you're gonna see is you're still in disk mode now of course it says disk mode over here, just letting you know, it doesn't say it here, it just say disk mode. You should see a padlock icon over here, right where I'm pointing to. And that means that it's in hold and it should hold it in disk mode as well. Then it's going to start charging. You have to leave this in for about maybe about six or seven hours until this is full. Now remember, as I'm talking to you now, all these functions that I told you to do, the resetting, the tapping on the, the blunt object, the iPod has to be plugged in at all times. It should be plugged in with a USB uh, power adapter, an iPod power adapter, uh, and as it's plugged in, all these functions and all these instructions should be implemented. Now as it's in, getting back to uh, disk mode, as long as it stays in disk mode, then you're really on easy street. You're on your way to fixing your iPod. This, after hours of charging, should be full. It shouldn't fluctuate anymore. This battery icon should be full. Once it's full, either this, I'm sorry, either it should be full here, or 
it should show this logo over here of charging and this should be moving up moving up and then it should say charge so it should either be in this and this logo or in still in the disk mode logo and this is going to be charged either way once once it shows charged in either of these icons what you have to do is you disconnect it you disconnect the power adapter from the iPod it's connected to here it should be pulled out and then you plug it into your computer with your USB cable USB sync cable which looks like this this interface of course goes into the iPod this goes into your computer once that's connected iTunes should automatically detect the iPod it should open up you'll see it on the left hand side it'll say your iPod user iPod or whatever your name is if you personalized it and then when it opens it up there's two tabs a restore button and an update button you click on restore let it restore at the factory settings it's going to take a while to do that once it's done don't disconnect it wait till it's done you should get a logo like this when this logo appears put it back into the wall it should restore it to factory settings once that's done it should power on and it should be like new now this should work if it doesn't work if you can't get it to stay into disk mode like I mentioned before you may need to replace the battery so once that's done it should also fix the problem so if you have any questions comments concerns about this video please feel free to email me anytime and leave comments thank you for tuning in